Well, lawyers are claiming dozens of California's most popular wines are a health hazard. KCAL Line's Kai Goldberg has details of a new lawsuit. I would only drink a wine that said organic on it. At the end of a busy day, a lot of people love to kick back with a glass of wine. It can relax you or be the perfect complement to dinner. But a group of California consumer lawyers say that there could be a hidden danger in some of the inexpensive brands of wine, and they're filing a class action lawsuit. The lawsuit is over the fact that these 83 wines have high levels of arsenic. The lawsuit filed today is against more than 80 wineries. It claims that these wineries knowingly produce wine that is laced with inorganic arsenic. Inorganic arsenic is 500 times more toxic than just organic arsenic. The low-end wines named in the lawsuit typically sell for less than $10. Some popular brands named in the lawsuit include Vendage, Behringer, Cupcake, Glen Ellen, Charles Shaw, Wine Cube, Sutter Home, Menage a Trois, and some boxed wines. This box of Franzi wine has 500% the acceptable level of arsenic, one of the largest offenders that we found in our studies. So will today's lawsuit stop people from pouring that favorite glass of wine? It wouldn't stop me from drinking wine. It would stop me from drinking the wine that has arsenic. The class action lawsuit has been filed. Lawyers say that California Attorney General Kamala Harris could be involved in the next few weeks. Until then, it's up to the 83 different winemakers to respond. Reporting from downtown Los Angeles, Kai Goldberg, KCAL 9 News. Well, lawyers say the arsenic could cause cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. Charles Shaw makes Trader Joe's famous two-buck chuck, and Trader Joe's released a statement to CBS News saying, the concerns raised in your inquiry are serious and are being treated as such. We are investigating the matter with several of our wine-producing suppliers. And Treasury Wine Estate says its brands are fully compliant with all relevant federal and state guidelines.